Well, as this rowing eight reaches the far side of uh, Lake Burley Griffin to continue uh, the relay, we're watching uh, live pictures coming from Canberra, Australia, where the, uh, in the last few minutes the Olympic torch relay uh, has begun. As Andrew Stevens is reporting for us live, uh, large groups of, of supporters of the torch, a smaller group of protesters uh, also uh, visible. One arrest is being reported so far. Uh, at the moment, though, Andrew, I wonder if you could just fill us in on one thing. I remember in 2000 when the Olympic flame came through, that, of course, before the Sydney Olympic Games, there were enormous numbers of people. It was, of course, a homegrown Olympics on that occasion, turning out, ordinary Australians turning out to support the flame. You talk a lot about red Chinese flags. Is there any strong evidence that you're seeing that ordinary Australians, uh, not with Chinese connections, have turned up to make a fuss of this Olympic torch relay? Well, from what I've seen, uh, the answer would, would be uh, only a limited number. There are, there are families out. Um, this is starting quite early in the morning. It's, been, it's actually quite a cold morning here, which may have turned some people off. But uh, it really is. The, 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 the vast majority of people, of people who come to support or otherwise here at the torch relay have been... Um, um, sort of ethnically Asian. Um, there's, I, I, as I said, I've seen some families around, but it doesn't have that same sort of, of uh, um, buzz and that same sort of capturing the, the imagination of the country as, as the Sydney Games do, which, which in a way you can expect because it was the Olympics for Sydney and it was such a, a momentous time for 2000 in Australia. Um, but this, this, this time around, there, there, there obviously is pride here. Um, but the, the political situation has overshadowed this to such a large degree. Um, and when you see people out there, when you talk to them, you know, ordinary Australians with their families down here, they're just a little concerned about uh, what could happen. So that may be some reason for keeping some away. But pretty much you, it, it, it's mainly Chinese. And just looking around, everywhere you, everywhere you look, you just see dozens and dozens of, uh, of more hundreds and hundreds even of the Chinese flag. It's funny you should say that, because I'm just looking behind me now, and there's a, a group of Boy Scouts um, that just appeared, um, looking somewhat bemused at all the all the flags, waving at them as, as they make their way across the bridge as well. So it's still, having said that, it is generally a, a festive atmosphere here. It's a beautiful day in Canberra, I must add, and uh, it, 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 a large majority of people are taking this in very good spirit. Indeed. Well, we're watching a scene. It looks like there's some sort of hold up there at the moment. They, uh, it may well be that the flame's gone out. Uh, the uh, torch attendants have, uh, have turned up there. This is the job that uh, these guys are attending the torch for, is actually to make sure the flame stays uh, alight, not to form, uh, to play any security role. That has been made absolutely plain by the uh, Australian authorities from the Prime Minister on down. And we, we think we can only surmise here, but it looks as though they are restarting the Olympic flame there from the container, the metal container where it remains burning constantly. Uh, I wonder, as the events went around the world a month or so ago, just uh, six weeks ago now, the protests that took place in Tibet, the events that followed that, do you get a sense of how Australians perceive the, Austra uh, the Tibetan issue, the Darfur, Darfur issue, the human rights issue in a broader sense, uh, how China is perceived by the broader uh, Australian community at the moment, Andrew? Mm. The, uh, the, the Australia Tibet Council has about uh, 1,200 members or so, and this is the, the overall umbrella body for t Tibetans and, and a lobbying body for Tibet in Australia. Um, but they have some 16,000 or so uh, subscribers to, to their online service. So there is a feeling, uh, I would say a broad feeling in Australia, that there is some sympathy for Tibetans and, and what is happening in Tibet, uh, Australia always, uh, or Australians tend to, to, to uh, support the underdogs. And in, in this situation, there is a, a definite feeling that, uh, or, or a sympathy towards Tibet uh, broadly from Australians. 